Hi, I'm Rebecca Reed from Land Upon Line Learning, and I'm here today to share some of my opinions of the Seasons of Field curriculum from Beautiful Feet Books, which is a literature-inspired natural science program for the early elementary years. I, first of all, just want to say I love it when we can take a, a book that's interesting, fun for a kid, and we can find the ways that we learned from it and use that as a foundation for learning science concepts. And that's exactly what this curriculum does uh, with some really great books. I was so excited to open it and see some familiar books that I have seen before, um, but also others that were brand new to me and are just fantastic. So Seasons of Field is set up with uh, different field guides is what they call it in the manual, the teacher guide. I would call these like units. Um, and so these, each of these units uses one of the stories from Brambley Hedge as a story frame for learning about some, some uh, other subjects within that. Um, then the other subjects that are under that unit or the field guide um, use another book as a basis for learning some other concepts. So there's great reading. And then e under each of those subjects, there are also four to six lessons. So those lessons include things like, a, first of all, a story lesson to go along with either the Brambley Hedge Reading or one of the other books. Um, and this has discussion ideas. It has um, some vocabulary sometimes and maybe even a little activity. One of the things we did is um, when we read Brambley Hedge and we were learning about flowers, it told us to look at the picture of flowers and see if we could find those same flowers in the illustrations. And so we ended up going back and just pouring through the illustrations, trying to find all the different kinds of flowers. The beginning of, of the uh, subject also has a list of other books that you might want to reference. You can get these at the library, or maybe you already have them in your personal library. Other parts of the lessons includes field work lessons. This is an activity, they call it an activity or experiment or a handicraft. Um, so when we were learning about flowers, we dissected a flower and in the consumable bundle that comes along with this set, uh, there are field work cards uh, with, to go along with each of, these um, each of the subjects. And there are also watercolor cards. Uh, they put the watercolor activities under notebooking lessons. So for most of the units, there's something that you can paint with watercolors. Most of the subjects also have a lesson called slow down and wander. And this is where you go outside now. You take what you've learned and you go outside. Um, most of them have a two, page, two pages to read in the book Slow Down, 50 Mindful Moments in Nature. And so you read the two pages and then we go outside and we explore and look what we can find. Some of these subjects have a few more lessons, so four to six. One of them I saw had a recipe. Another one, um, you could make a craft heart with seeds and mail it to somebody that you love. They also have a picture that you can look at and discuss and talk about and, or a poem. This logbook is where we put down what we've learned, take some notes, draw some little pictures, and we can put in the, the field notes that we discussed and the watercolors that we paint. There's just so many different things that we're going to be going over with this. We've done a few weeks, uh, and then we ended school at the end of May, and I've been doing a little bit of reading and a little bit of math with my daughter every day, and then she's like, why aren't we doing science? Let's do more science. And so we went back and we started a few of those lessons every week as well because she wanted it. She missed it. So lots of things uh, to enjoy with the Seasons of Field elementary level science curriculum new from Beautiful Feet Books. This is Rebecca Reed from Line Upon Line Learning. I'll see you next time.